And the question which we are raising, which I'm raising now, is whether, what about nuclear energy? Can we find a nuclear uh, alternative which can complement uh, renewable energies? There has to be a nuclear energy which is acceptable to everybody. And the answer to that, we found one, which is a very good one, is to use thorium instead of using uranium. I'm prepared to tell you that I believe that today we are ready to build a prototype. Now, why is nuclear so important? Because nuclear provides you with one million times more energy than, than the chemical reactions. If you have a, a, any fossil burning of oil or natural gas, etc., you produce a certain energy for a certain mass. If you go and make nuclear, it's about a million times uh, better, and this fact of millions is a tremendous factor. Nuclear energy today is not uh, a very definitive solution to the uh, long-range energy problem because there is no more uh, uranium uh, today used the way it's used than there is oil or natural gas. Can we find a nuclear uh, alternative which can complement uh, renewable energies? There has to be a nuclear energy which is acceptable to everybody. The present nuclear energy is not so, because the present nuclear energy is too much associated with nuclear weapons. Everybody which has a, a nuclear reactor can also build a bomb and there are terrorists, all kinds of problems. Hiroshima is a problem. The second big problem is uh, Fukushima or, if you like, uh, uh, Chernobyl. Uh, these reactors are uh, fundamentally unstable because uh, they are a, a self-supporting uh, system which operate on themselves and the reactor is uh, self-supplied self and, and therefore it can go critical or it can go out of out control and it can produce a very large amount of energy. And the third problem, which I think we also have, is the question of the waste. Nuclear waste will last for a very long time, uh, up to a million years. So is there a way in which you can, A, eliminate Chernobyl, eliminate the bomb and eliminate also the presence of the waste. And the answer to that, we found one, which is a very good one, is to use thorium instead of using uranium. Now, let me give you a, a number for this. If I want to produce one gigawatt, uh, 1,000 megawatts of electric energy for one year, typical reactor, for instance, in Spain, you have several of these reactors, then if you do it with coal, it, did the coal. it requires you three and a half million tons of coal. So every year, three and a half million tons of coal are coming from, uh, uh, from the, the mine and they have been burnt, producing 10 million tons of CO2 uh, for one single reactor. Uh, if you are to produce a nuclear power uh, with the problem which I mentioned to you, you also have to realize that it takes about 250 tons of natural uranium. So every year you build uh, 250 tons of natural uranium, you have to enrich them, you have to do all kinds of things, and then you produce energy, the same energy, with 250 tons, which is already quite a bit less than 3.5 million, but it's still a lot. If you were to do it with thorium, it would be only one ton. So you're talking about 3 million, uh, 250, and one. The thorium is 250 times more efficient than uranium. Not only that, but there's, there's plenty more thorium than there is uranium. Thorium is a very abundant element, is as rich as lead. As much lead there is in nature, there is so much thorium in nature, and therefore it is 10 to the minus 5. One part in, a, in, a, in 100,000 of all the elements on the crust of the earth is thorium. It's very abundant. You can find thorium in many different places, and therefore if thorium system would work, it would be a definitive solution for tens of thousands of years of producing. Uh, and uh, what are the advantages? First of all, the, uh, there is no Chernobyl because uh, the, uh, the system is not critical. 
It's a system controlled with an accelerator. When you switch off the accelerator, the reactor stops. So it's not self-supported, but it's driven by the men. You have, you have the knob in your hand. Second problem you have uh, is that, that the lifetime of the waste uh, contained in the system is much shorter. Uh, in fact, you know that after 200, 250 years, uh, which is a relatively short time, there are lots of buildings in Spain and a lot of places in Spain which have, which have been constructed uh, for more than 250 years. After 250 years, they, all the radioactivity is dissipated away. So if you take this material, after 250 years, you can take them out and they are safe. You can take it back into the environment again. And the third advantage of uh, the third big, big advantage of the uh, of thorium is that you cannot make a bomb out of thorium. There is no thorium bomb. These three things: factor 250 times less thorium, plenty of thorium visible, no Chernobyl, no Hiroshima, and in 250 years we're back where we started from. Seems to be very exciting. Now all the underlining physics is understood. Uh, I uh, am a uh, rather experienced person in physics. I've done a lot of important discoveries. When I say something, I'm not saying it lightly. I'm prepared to tell you that I believe that today we are ready to build a prototype. In Europe, the situation is very, uh, it's, it, where the whole thing started, is in fact not very, very uh, favorable today because we are in Europe, is controlled by the situation in Germany. One, uh, the smallest radioactivity is considered to be the most terrible sin. In, in France, uh, the existing today's uh, nuclear power is supposed to be a, the reason, raison d'etre of the system and therefore uh, both the uh, people against nuclear power and the people in favor of nuclear power, they, both of them agree that they would not like to have an alternative. So Europe is completely out. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has listened very carefully to what we have proposed. The other country which is working very much in favor of the same solution is India. Things will happen. Only I'm telling you that in the developing country, India and China and also Korea, there are areas and people which are really taking very seriously this possibility and sooner or later such a thing will happen.